In what he's calling his closing argument speech later today in Canton, Ohio, Senator Barack Obama will say that in 21 months and three debates, Senator John McCain has still not been able to tell the American people one single major policy difference he has with George W. Bush on the economy. In Fort Collins, Colorado, Barack Obama joked to the crowd of 45,000 that supporters of John McCain should vote the day after Election Day. If you're voting for the other guy, you should just wait until November 5th. <laughs> I'm just teasing. It's actually November 4th is the election. Obama's been arguing that John McCain is the reincarnation of George W. Bush. McCain says he knows he's trailing, but believes he can come back this week. I guarantee you that uh, two weeks from now, you will see this has been a very close race, and I believe that I'm going to win it. McCain's closing argument, the three-headed liberal monster. He's been asking voters to imagine a Washington, D.C. run by President Obama, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. We get an Obama... Read Pelosi combo in Washington, my friends. You're in trouble. Grab a hold of your wallets. In the latest ABC News Washington Post tracking poll, independents prefer divided government to one party rule, 43% to 34%. There's a sharp gender gap as well. Women by 56 to 36% prefer Democratic control of Congress, while men by 50 to 43% would like to see it go to the Republicans. Saturday Night Live took a look at liberal control of Washington, D.C. in a spoof of what Obama might do with the half hour of airtime he purchased on other networks on Wednesday night. With the Barack Obama variety half hour, we built it up. We built it up. And now it's solid. <laughs> A key part of Senator McCain's closing argument will be that only he puts country first, which is what's needed to clean up Washington.